let's talk about the product rule and differentiation. So product is you know multiplication. The output of a multiplication operation is the product of two numbers or three numbers or however many. And you can also multiply together functions and generate new functions. So for example, if I've got y is equal to f of x, I could multiply that by the function g of x, and I could generate a new, more complicated function. Okay, so as an example, suppose this thing is equal to 3x plus 2, and this is equal to the natural log of x. And let me just say up here, we're talking about the product rule. Ignore that w. Okay. So, a more complicated function, as an example, would be like 3x plus 2 multiplied by the natural log of x. Now we know how to take the derivative of this f of x, we know how to take the derivative of g of x, but when they're multiplied together, we need to use a special rule, the product rule. And the rule is that if you have y equals f of x times g of x, so the product of two functions, the derivative dy dx is equal to the derivative of the first one times just the second one, leave it alone, plus the reverse. So now we leave the first one alone and multiply by the derivative of the second one. All right. You might think why not? It, it should be equal to the derivative of them multiplied together, like f prime of x times g prime of x. It just doesn't. Okay, it doesn't work that way. So this is the product rule. And if we're going to use this as an, our example. The derivative of this first term, this first function, 3x plus 2, is really simple. It's just 3, because x, we can imagine this is x to the power of 1. We bring the 1 down, and we have 3 multiplied by x raised to the power of 1, but we subtract 1, and that is equal to 0. And so all those things just disappear. Then we have to multiply it by g of x, which is the natural log of x, so we'll just leave that there. Then we add to that the reverse. So we're going to now leave 3x plus 2 alone and take the derivative of g of x, which here is the natural log of x. And if you watched the last video, that's equal to 1 over x. And there you go. We've figured it out. That's how you do the product rule. You're going to need, or you're going to want to remember this.